Hello everybody, this is Weston Yancey, uh, owner of Modern Outdoor Tackle and Modern Outdoor Media. Um, some of you may know me as the cameraman here for Scott some days, but today I've talked my way out from behind the camera and we got Scott running the camera here today on our episode of G3 Sportsman. So we're in our Deep D Angler Series boat here from G3. It's a versatile boat. We're gonna show you that today, getting in this narrow river. Some shallow spots, we're gonna be a little careful, but we got some good shade, we got some good laydowns, some good rock, and we're gonna chase these little fish and just see what we can do today. So come along with us. The river's at like 300 CFS right now, which is about medium. So it's actually a decent level. But um, we've got, you can see you got a lot of shade, a lot of laydowns. We've got some good goggle eye and good small mouth in, in these laydowns and these shades, shade pockets. But we're gonna throw little rebel crawls and we're gonna throw some little crappie jigs at them and see what we can come up with. If we, if we get on a decent bite and maybe we catch a few goggle eye, maybe I'll up the size on that rebel crawl and maybe go after some small mouth, but we'll see. goggle eye right there. Back hooked. Very good chance we'll lose him. <laughs> Come here little goggle eye. You'll be the first in the boat today. All right. And that guys is the little surprise that we're after today. The goggle eye also known as the rock bass. This is a delicacy here in uh, southwest Missouri. These guys do go in the live well, and uh, that's a start. They got those red eyes, which I always find really cool. Guys, right now these fish, we're staying off the bank a little bit because these fish are kind of living out a little deeper, I think, out of the sun. They get up on the bank in spots like this that don't have a lot of cover, and so they'll move out off the bank a little bit, and a lot of times you'll get bit about halfway back to the boat, and often you'll get them on that back hook, as you guys saw we had that one on the back hook so you got to keep your drag loose and you got to keep a real soft hand because they'll get off those baits but that's a little rk50 in the red river crawl that's the ticket been that's been the ticket lately this, this this river holds a lot of different species of fish there's a lot of wildlife not a lot of houses along the river it's very private very serene and i just i just really love coming out here and fishing um, you know on a day like today when nobody's out here during the week it's pretty tough to beat say it's a bass, the way it's fighting. What do we got here? It's been a little drag. Right back here in this eddy, Scott. Trying to keep us out of the snagging line we got floating over here. Keep it out of the trail motor. Yeah, a little small mouth. Come here. Come here, Sally. Fat little fish. Oh yeah. A little bonus smallmouth here, probably about a 14 inch fish, big fat belly on it. It's feeding good, I bet that's full of crawls. But uh, we let all these smallmouth go because a fish like this, even at 15 inches, this could be a five, six year old fish, which a lot of people don't realize how long it takes these fish to grow. Little James River smallmouth, they come a lot bigger than that, but hey, I'll take it today. It was a fun fight on these little ACC 7.6 casting rods. So we're gonna let them go. That's a goggle eye, come on baby. 
They're holding right here in this little hole. Pretty little fish. They fly hard. Once again, on the back hook. Always get them on the back hook, chasing the little crawls. This guy has got a line snapped off in him here. See that? We're gonna go ahead and see if we can't help him out. Mm, got it. All right. All right. Yeah, he was. It was kind of rubbing him raw up here in his gill plate. See that? So that'll grow into be a 20 incher for him. maybe my daughter will catch it one day. He feels better, I'll bet. What do you say? <laughs> Guys, one thing I like about a river is it kind of simplifies things. You know, on a lake, they can be anywhere, but stealing a line from uh, Scotch Grandpa, he said, when you're fishing a river, they're either down one bank or down the other. And it's, it's funny, but it's true. You know, it really simplifies things for me. And sometimes when things are unstable in the spring, if you guys are wanting to kind of break out of a slump, come out and fish the river, uh, you know, downsize. And if the bite's real good, you know, you can upsize and sometimes catch some big smallmouth in here, uh, throwing top water or, or you know the RK55 in this version, but it's tough to beat the river. The, the seclusion, uh, the wildlife, and and you know fishing this current too. You look these big boulders over here in the water. I mean, it's just a whole different way to fish. There you go. There's a fish right there. There's a we're after. They're holding right here in this little hole. It's our third fish out of this spot. We've had a smallmouth, we've had a goggle eye, and we've had a perch. So we got a little bit of a variety. You see the smallmouth have those red eyes too. These fish are just eating these crawdads. It's getting warmer, so there's a lot more crawls coming out right now. But uh, healthy little smallmouth. Fun way to catch them. Guys, you know this G3 Angler Deep V series, we've had it out in some rough water on the lake. And now uh, here we are today in three to five feet of water, and I think we're drifting probably about 10, 12 inches into this water. You know, we're not saying you're gonna take this out and run a river all the time or anything like that, but it just shows you how versatile these boats can be. It's aluminum, it's well built. I've got the confidence to bring it out here and use it on a river like this. Uh, and it just makes a great all around boat, uh, no matter where you're wanting to fish. You know, you folks watching right now, I bet you somewhere around you, there's a river very, very similar to this. It might be right in your backyard that you could actually go out and you might shock yourself that you can take a boat out in three to five feet of water comfortably and fish for these goggle eye, fish for these smallmouth in an area where you're not gonna be bombarded with a lot of people. And, and who doesn't like getting out and just having a good time and not seeing anybody on the water and having all the fish to yourself, right? So maybe look into what's around you, some of your local tributaries and rivers and uh, see about taking out your Angler V-Series. You know, it might just surprise you. Oh, there's one right there, right on time on this snag. You know, when you see these big laydowns, guys, you gotta be fishing them for this goggle eye. Yep, it's another goggle eye. Right there on the spinnerbait this time. Look at the colors on him. They're neat fish. It's like a mix, to me, it's like a mix between a smallmouth and a perch. Neat little fish. Good eating fish, too. It's a sweet meat. You fry them up. We're gonna let this one go today. You know these 6.6 and 7.6 green series rods from ACC make a really nice little river rod. 6.6 uh, in this situation might have been a little better for me today, but we had our 7.6 on the deck and uh, we're working this RK50 from Spro here and it's working it just fine on this little grizzly jig spinning reel. And uh, boy, it's, it's sure fun to fight them on this and uh, even if they're eight inches, it's, it's still a lot of fun. All right guys, so wrapping up our day here we've only been out about an hour and got a fish right there right there look at that is it a goggle eye oh we got a little small mouth on the back side of that log but you know the fun thing guys you're out here throwing this ultralight tackle look at this fish fighting me here you know you go to the lake and you expect to catch a little bigger fish when you come to the river you're downsizing a little bit but you know what they fight hard they're mean and this little 12 incher i tell you what it feels like a 16 incher on the lake and I can come out here and do this all day long. Look at that little fish right there, little small mouth. We got him good, we got him both trebles. Yep. All right guys, come out here, catch a bunch of these fish. You don't know if you're gonna have a goggle eye or a small mouth, but either way, they all put up a great fight. Uh, get your family out on the river, go out with your buddies, be safe out there. 
Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and come back for some more. Find the old truck up, stop by the quick stop, grab a couple honky tonks, and he's on out your way to your place around 8 o'clock. I swear to God, I could take singing lessons for 10 years and not you and know it, and I mean, not even gaining any ground.